gentlemen and uh, have we got a lot to talk about <laughs> wasn't that odd last night ladies and gentlemen yeah. yeah I'm talking about our program last night the <laughs> odd strange episode no I don't know uh, who saw who saw the president's speech last night first of all. <laughs> and who has no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> well <laughs> I do believe there are people out there who don't know what the hell's going on. Right. They saw him talking on TV last night and they thought it was some kind of commercial <laughs> or something. <laughs> What's uh, happening? <laughs> last night, this is very strange. Well, everyone today, all the pundits are talking about the, uh, the president's speech. And uh, apparently, some people are saying the, the most interesting part is that last night during the president's address to the American people, the, uh, the president criticized Kenneth Starr's investigation, saying that it's gone on too long and it costs too much money. That's right. And coincidentally, NBC's president said the same thing regarding Mad About You. <laughs> which... <laughs> the beauty here is that no other late night host will use that setup to get to Mad About You. <laughs> Maybe I got hurt, but I think it was worth it. Uh, very strange thing is that uh, apparently Sunday night, they just, uh, this information just came out, Sunday night, Jesse Jackson visited the White House and counseled Hillary Clinton for two hours. That's right, that really happened, yeah. And then uh, afterwards, before we left, Jackson made up a rhyme about Bill Clinton and Nantucket. <laughs> so here is, it's a good rhyme. Uh, it's not what you're thinking. Uh, and then I got to mention this yesterday, of course, uh, very interesting about his grand jury testimony. President Clinton declined. Did you know this? He declined to answer some of the grand jury's questions about his sexual relationship with Monica Lewinsky. That's right. And apparently the president responded to those questions by saying, I refuse to answer that on the grounds that I might stimulate myself. <laughs> Which I... Again, I have to say that's my favorite crowd reaction. Horror blending into acceptance <laughs> and then joy. Oh! <laughs> He's all right. <laughs> all right, we have to talk about tonight's show. We have so much show tonight. We have, first off, uh, one of the funniest men on the planet. I started watching this guy as a kid. He's one of the reasons that uh, many comedians are in show business. Don Rickles yeah! is on the program. is here we also have also another person many reasons why we're in show business uh, from the upcoming movie blade tracy lords is on the program we got your don rickles we got your tracy lords i said legally that's enough show let's proceed someone said no you're a fool we must have more so musical guest emmy lou harris going to be on the program it's Someone could be killed tonight because there's too much show. 
And right here, ladies and gentlemen, a man who's literally wetting himself because Don Rickles is here and he's going to let him have it. Max Weinberg and his Max Weinberg set of... <laughs> Seven, Andy, what's going on? Hi. 